In this video, you'll see how to add slicers to make it easy to filter your pivot tables and then connect those slicers to more than one pivot table. So we can filter both for a region or for a category. This is Deborah Dalgleish from Contextures.com. In this workbook, we have two pivot tables. They're both based on this sales data. We've got region, city, category, product, and some number fields. On our pivot table sheet, one of the pivot tables has a filter for the region. So we could look at just the data for the West. And we see here that it's 5786, which is the same number that's showing in this pivot table, which is based on the same data. Then we can clear that filter to go back to all the data. In Excel, you can add slicers for pivot tables, and that usually makes it easier to filter the data. So instead of clicking here and choosing something from a list, the list is presented on the worksheet. I'm going to add a slicer to this pivot table, and then later we'll connect it so it also controls the second pivot table. To insert a slicer, I'm going to select any cell in this pivot table. I've got a cell in the filter area selected. I'm going to the Insert tab, and under Filters, click on Slicer. Now you can see a list of all the fields that are in this pivot table based on that sales data that we looked at earlier. And I've got a filter here for Region, and over here one for Category. And we can see Category here as well, and the regions are showing. So I want slicers for Region and Category. I'll click OK. And it drops the two slicers on the worksheet. You can move them and you can point to the handles to resize them so they fit better. And I'll put those both between the two pivot tables. Now, if I click on a region, over here it's showing east and only that total is showing. This pivot table was not affected by this slicer filter. I'm going to clear that. And the same for category. If I click a category here, now it's just showing bars, but this pivot table is still showing all the categories. So I'll clear that, and the slicers are working well, but I would like to connect the second pivot table to the two slicers. Because both of these pivot tables are based on the same source data, I'll be able to connect the second pivot table to the slicers that we created from the first pivot table. Now you could do this individually. Perhaps you just want one of the slicers connected to the second pivot table. And if that's the case, then right click on a slicer, click Report Connections, and here we can see the two pivot tables. It's connected to pivot table one, but there's no check mark for pivot table two. So you could just check that. Then this would be connected to this slicer, but not this one. I want to connect this pivot table to both the slicers. So there's a quicker way to do that. I'll select a cell in this pivot table and then click pivot table analyze and click Filter Connections. So this shows the two slicers that are in this workbook. And I'm going to put a check mark for Category and for Region, and then click OK. And now this pivot table is also connected to the two slicers. I'll click away from that pivot table. I'll click West for the Region. And now West is showing up here and for the other pivot table. I'll click on Cookies and now both of them have cookies as the category that was filtered. And to clear the filters, just click the clear buttons on the slicers, and you're back to seeing all the data in both pivot tables. Thanks for watching this video. You can go to my website, contextures.com, to get this workbook. And please subscribe to my Contextures YouTube channel so you can see the latest videos as I post them.